Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for SEO. There's a lot of different features and functions that you can utilize. Anyway, let's get right on into it, starting with keyword research. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, I put, I need help with keyword research. Give me some long tail keywords that relate to golf putting. So this is going to be the niche or the idea based around it. So make sure you can give some type of input. Like you can't say I need some long tail keywords or I need some keywords and that's it. Like there's millions upon millions upon hundreds of millions of them. Anyway, let's put this in. Let's hit enter and see what we get. All right, great. Of course, if we need more, we can always say generate some more. Um, the part I'm going to skip about this, which if you're an SEO, you're going to be probably good at doing is figuring out which one of these keywords is going to be worth ranking for, depending on your site, depending on how much authority you have, depending on how many backlinks you want to get. So that's the part I'm going to leave out, but I am going to pick one as if we did go through and pick one that we want to utilize because it's going to be different for everyone, right? A site that's just starting isn't going to be great at going after a little bit more competitive keyword, but one that's been around for a decade that has authority and power will probably have a much easier time. So Golf putting drills to improve your accuracy. Let's pretend that we went through this. Not as difficult to rank for, that's great. So now what we wanna do is start creating an article for this. So let me write a prompt. All right, and of course we could always write titles for this if you want, but usually the keyword's gonna be in the title, at least for me. You could always add something after like X tips to help you, whatever it's going to be. But I have, write me a blog post outline for an article called Golf Putting Drills to Improve Accuracy. Right, great. So we got a good amount of content here that we can talk about. So when it comes to this, we have our intro, we have basic putt alignment drill, speed control drill, the one ball drill, the ladder drill, and the coins drill, followed by a conclusion. So I've done this many times before, so I'll probably do like one, maybe two of these segments. What we want to do is go in here and write each of these sections, and of course, we can make ChatGPT do that for us. So in the beginning, we're going to talk about writing an introduction paragraph for this specific article, and if we want, we can include talking about these things. So you don't have to use them, it's just a recommendation, but for this specific example, I'm going to. Give me one second. All right, so I put, write me a couple of introduction paragraphs about the article, golf putting drills to improve accuracy. Please also talk about, and these are going to be some of the sections, like I said, you don't have to put these, but if you want to, definitely put them there so it has some context to write about. Okay, let's write it. Yeah, so here's our intro. It requires a combination of skills. A small miscalculation can mean the difference between a putt missing it or sinking it and missing it entirely. That's why it's important to obviously improve upon it. Uh, drills are designed to help players focus on specific aspects of their putting. There's a wide range of drills available and so on and so forth. So if you're a beginner, if you're an experienced, you know, obviously you can reach your full potential. Good. And what you would do is go through each of these segments. So I'm not going to go through each of them. I do have a completely separate video about this. If you want to see that, just leave a comment down below and I'll link you to it. But given the fact I've done one section for you, you do the same thing for the next. So write a couple paragraphs about the basic putt alignment drill. Also be sure to talk about, and then you can just copy that in there. You can do the same thing for all these as well as the conclusion, but there are a few more things that we can do when it comes to SEO related. So here's the first one. All right, so I need an FAQ section. Please list a few of the most popular questions about putting and answer them for me as well. So this is something I haven't talked about yet when it comes to a lot of like articles and blog posts. Sometimes you want an FAQ section, sometimes you don't. It can help with your ranking in terms of more keywords and so on and so forth. So let's roll with this and see what we get. So we got a few questions and answers here. Pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. How do I hold the putter correctly? How do I aim correctly when putting? What is the correct putting stroke? How do I judge the speed of a putt? And how often should I practice putting? Very good. This is also good. There's a good chance that you might have these in the actual article, but sometimes people will skip to the bottom and just look to see if they can answer these. So sometimes it's a good, you know, opportunity to reiterate them, get some more eyes on them, or maybe, you know, you could always relate them, not relate them, but refer them to maybe a link, could be to a webinar, could be a product to an offer. So if someone is asking about how often they should practice putting, in fact, I have a complete webinar about this. Not only does it talk about how long you should be practice putting, but you know, some of the optimal games or whatever it is, you know, to improve it that you can utilize. So there's always going to be more opportunity for that. And one more thing, you know, we pretty much, this would be going through the entire article. Let's write one more prompt when it relates to SEO. Write me a meta description for the article, golf putting drills to improve accuracy. We talked about how we can also do the titles, but like I said, usually the keyword is going to be front loaded and then I'd put something after that. So if you wanted to ask it for titles, you can. Usually, you know, sometimes you can do the title first or sometimes you can do it last. If you're talking about a certain amount of tips, obviously you can change that, you know, like four tips or five tips or different practice drills that you can utilize. Anyway, let's hit the enter on this and see what we get. 
Hey, discover effective golf putting drills to improve accuracy and take your putting game to the next level. From basic alignment drills to more advanced exercises, these tips will help you make more putts and shoot lower scores. Perfect. So if you wanted to, I'm not sure is the actual keyword in there itself. If you wanted to put that in there, you can. That's up to you. If you wanted to write more, say like, hey, write me another meta description. But overall, that's a very quick run through when it comes to using chat GPT for SEO purposes. As we talked about before, we did some keyword research. Once again, I want to reiterate that once you get keywords, it's going to be up to you to kind of decide where your website is, what you think you can rank for, what you want to try and rank for, if you're going to need backlinks, maybe some internal linking and so on and so forth. Once you have them, what we're going to do is create the outline for it, which we did right here. Once we have our outline, we're going to go through each one of these sections. I went through the intro and for you, and you would repeat the process for the rest of them. After that, we have our FAQ section right here. We can add to the end. And of course, our meta description, which also goes along with titles if you need some more of those. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If there's anything that maybe I missed or maybe you have questions with, feel free to leave a comment down below and I can help you out with that. But that about does it. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is James and I will see you soon.